Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am starting another vlog. We have quite a few really exciting things happening lately so I'm excited to fill you guys in and take you along with what we've been doing on the homestead lately and all the new stuff going on. So let's get right into this. So the most exciting new thing, at least for me, is that we got a puppy. We've had her for about a month now. She is a 12 week old registered German Shepherd, which I can't even believe we were able to find a registered Shepherd. Normally they're like super expensive, like $2,500 or more. I found her on a Facebook uh, German Shepherd group and the people happened to be in a town that was only 20 minutes from us and they, the puppies were only $900 each, registered German Shepherds. So we jumped right on that. We said we definitely want a female, so we went and looked at them. We were choosing between two of the female, females left. There was two females and a male. We, we definitely wanted a female because we want her to have puppies someday. It was really hard to choose between the two. Uh, one was a little bit bigger and it had a little bit more gray in its markings, less tan. I kind of wanted to get that one. She seemed really calm and she was bigger, which I really like big dogs. Luke wanted to get the other one, and the other one had t more tan markings. She was a little bit lighter. She was the runt. Um, and we uh, ultimately went with the one Luke wanted because the lady said that she had the best eye contact and that she was the calmest one out of the litter. And even though she's a runt, she's definitely gonna catch up. She's almost caught up to her sister. And I know that because my mom actually got the sister. So I talked her into getting the other female that we were deciding about, and. I'm actually really, really glad that we got Hilda. We named her Hilda. <laughs> I'm really glad we got Hilda because she seems like the perfect one of the two for living on a homestead with a lot of kids and a lot of chaos. She is so calm, so laid back, so brave. She is scared of nothing. Nothing faces her. She'll just go head to head with our goose. Not aggressively, but she's just not scared. She's just curious. She wants to go see what's going on. So that's the perfect personality for a guard dog. We've been taking her around all of our chickens and ducks and geese and sheep every single day so that she is really good with them. If you guys want a little bit more in-depth video on some dog training tips, I would be happy to do that because I've trained quite a few dogs. I've helped my mom train a couple German Shepherds when we were growing up and I've trained a Blue Healer and Hilda we've had for about a month and she is really really well trained she is so smart she catches on to new things in a day we're running out of new things to teach her because she just catches on so fast it's amazing sit down sit down leave it leave it ah. leave it good girl yes good girl leave it leave it leave it Good girl, perfect, so smart, good girl. Go, sit. Good girl. Come. Good girl, sit. Swiss, good, good, good. Very good. That's the newest thing that's going on lately and it's actually not as hard as I was expecting. I was actually kind of nervous about dealing with a puppy and the three kids, but thankfully it's been going so smoothly. It's it's really not that hard. Once she was potty trained, it's like so easy. I, I absolutely love having a dog. We grew up with dogs always, so it just feels right to have a dog around. It makes me feel more comfortable. <laughs>
So Luke butchered that little rooster, Tweebledee, because he was beaten up on our big rooster. And we don't have any Banta pens for him to be with anyway, so he was becoming a nuisance. He won't stay in anywhere we put him. And he's too little for us to eat. It was a tiny little rooster with barely any meat. So Luke gave him to Hilda, because uh, it's really great for dogs to have raw meat in their diets and chew those raw bones. As long as they're not cooked, you don't never give a dog cooked bones, but they can have raw bones. So he gave her this little chicken and we were practicing going in there and taking it from her and putting our hands on it and asking her to leave it because it's very, very important for a family dog to not become possessive of food around kids because toddlers just walk up and want to grab things or pet while she's eating or whatever and I want there to never be an issue with that. That was the issue we had with that last dog is that she attacked Sophia over food and that can never be an issue so every time we give her her meal, her food, or a bone, or a chicken, or anything, we practice taking it from her because uh, that I will not allow food aggression in dogs around our family and around all our little kids and babies. So that's what we're doing here is just practicing teaching her that it's good that we're around her and we're helping her learn that we can take things but that we'll give it back and we'll always reward her and that it's a good thing and that also we're the bosses and we can do whatever we want. <laughs> so this is just really good for her and she's never shown any aggression. She's been amazing with this but I just want to make sure it never turns into anything in the future. So all this is very important for that. Hilda. Here's your puppy. So when we first got Hilda, Luke said she will not be allowed on the couch ever. <laughs> And then I come out here a few days later and I see him and Hilda snuggling on the couch. So now she is a couch dog, as you can see. She's not allowed to jump up and down by herself because you have to be um, really careful with German Shepherds. They're not allowed to be jumping up and down by themselves until they're 16 months old because they can damage their hips and their elbows. So I have to watch her and make sure she doesn't jump down by herself. But she loves sleeping on the couch. She'll sleep there all day long. So. Last weekend, Luke drilled all the holes for our new trees. He was able to borrow the neighbor's auger, which is awesome. He, and he drilled 528 holes in a day with that auger. So our trees will hopefully be here soon. We haven't got the shipping notification yet, so hopefully that is coming soon. So we've just been getting ready for the trees and we will probably go and get some from my in-laws house because they have some really cool varieties of willow trees, I think they are, but they look really pretty. So Luke wants to go over there and get some of those trees to propagate and start. <laughs> Hilda, hey pups, hello. All right, explain what these are. We just got some nice cuttings from my parents' house, from some of their willow trees. Turning into a bunch of little trees. All right, I'm just coming below this first leaf node here, about an eighth inch. Cut that off. And you want them like around eight inches or so. Come down to this next leaf node here. Chop it. Put that in. It's getting a little bit too thin. Just check that out. So thank you for watching this vlog. I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully those trees come in soon. I will be sure to vlog that. Planting 600 trees will be really exciting. Our sheep are also gonna have lambs really, really soon. Their due date is in two days. So anytime now, I wanna vlog that as well. You can tell my voice is a little scratchy. We just got sick. So there's a lot of exciting new things coming up and I hope you enjoy seeing all the new stuff and what we've been doing lately. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.